Across the lake from one of America's great skylines, the reopening of one of America's great planetariums. A $14 million renovation project in Chicago to revamp the famous Adler Planetarium, the first of its kind in the U.S. So kids can play interactive games, then see the amazing deep space adventure in the world's most advanced digital theater at a resolution beyond the limits of human vision. The deep space adventure really provides the ability for people to see space as if they were there in, uh, in a way that they, there's no other place in the world that can, that can do this. Uh, domes, for me, are, are about removing, remo removing the context of the room. And I think when, when you have this resolution and, and the quality of this display, the room disappears when, when the show starts, and, and that's when you are truly immersed in, in, in the visuals. It's one of the most data-intensive shows ever produced, using information from two supercomputers and 46 servers stuffed with Silicon Valley technology, including graphics processors from NVIDIA. The system paints a 64-megapixel image on the dome 30 times per second. It's all about horsepower when we're delivering this many pixels to a screen of, of this size and, and this many, uh, this, this resolute. We have to get these pixels from storage or from a real-time uh, database through the machine and onto the screen. So GPU plays a key part um, and it's the horsepower of the GPU and how we can synchronize 20 channels together um, that's key to the, the, the success of theaters like these. Without a, a robust storage system, without uh, a high performance you know, compute cluster, without you know, high end graphics cards attached to our, our visualization cluster, we would just be unable to you know, basically fill all the, all the pixels that, you know, that are, on this, are on the screen. It's a spectacular accomplishment that will teach and inspire and fill audiences with a sense of wonder feel like you're on the observation deck of a, of a spaceship. I, I was inspired by Carl Sagan's uh, uh, Cosmos series, and he had this metaphor of a spaceship of the imagination, and we've actually built it here. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dream come true.